Hi, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Hoppy. I'm Mark Crory. This is Carol Vales, also known as Hoppy. And um, today we are at, as usual, Hunter Appliance. And we are in front of the Fisher and Paco kitchen here. And um, graciously, Hunter Appliance once again has allowed us to invade their space mm -hmm. for the morning and um, take over and uh, use their facilities. It's really great. Um, they've been great hosts to us. So we encourage you to be good hosts to them. Uh, come by and see their kitchen, and especially this one here, Fisher and Paco. Uh, I think you will not be disappointed. Mm -hmm. So, uh, last show we covered some breakfast items, and today we're going to look into the world of appetizers. So, Carol, how you doing? <laughs> okay, <laughs> good. So, um, tell us, what is on the menu for today? We're doing uh, tapas appetizers it's uh they have this in spain when you go to a uh, bar they have you can have a drink and they give you one tapas it's a, just like two bites two or three ah, bites see. so we're just gonna have a bunch of uh, appetizer little plates and you just can great pick them up and great. like a cocktail party let's do it um you know this is uh probably this will air right around the the heart of the playoff season mm -hmm. oops for football oh good and so appetizers mm. are a big thing around here, you know. Oh, yeah. Maybe people are looking for some different ideas mm -hmm. than the normal chips and salsa. Yep. You know, so this will be great. All right, let's see. What we got first? What we're would you like me to do? <laughs> we're doing a tortilla, and it's with onions and potatoes. Okay. And so we'll be sautéing this in the pan, and then you put eggs in it, and it just is a nice little pancake-type thing again. And All then right. you just cut them in little wedges. Okay, yes. well, let's, let's start off. You want me to sure. do some pre-prep here? First for the onion? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a lot easier to use this okay. instead of... I'll get the pan heated up. Look at that. And you have to use... Like a pro. Kind of a lot of oil. Even though it might look a lot, but... Oh, so it doesn't roll all yeah. over the place. And you can use your hand first. Okay. And then just keep this down. That's fine. What happens if you don't yep. want to use your hand well, first? And just go faster. Just sure. Keep, just keep. <laughs> that's fine. Yep. Just keep. I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> go to this. <laughs> you have to be. You have to show it's who's boss. Sure. He knows who's boss. I <laughs> know. All right. So this will take maybe like 15 minutes to cook down. Just so the potatoes soften a bit and the onions caramelize. All right, so you're back there. Uh -huh. You're over what, medium heat? Uh, medium to medium high. Okay. But you don't want to burn the onions. No. Get funky. Alrighty. Okay. So, uh, what kind of oil you have today? This is olive oil. Mm -hmm. And I put a little salt in. Okay. But after a while, they will get tender. So, because otherwise, we're going to cook the tortilla for maybe like five minutes. So, so this has to be cooked. All right. So the idea is tender, but not mushy, right? Yeah. They don't want them to fall apart. Right. Even if it's a little... Crispy? Yeah, crispy, it's, it's okay. fine. Excellent. All right, yeah. so generally how long does this take to cook? It takes like 15 minutes. 15 minutes, okay. For the magic of television, uh -huh. okay, we magically have another batch right over here mm -hmm. that is already cooked and ready to go. And I put a little, um, I roasted some peppers. Okay. Just for the little bit of color. So oh. while this yeah, is... Okay. Um, Cooking mm -hmm. here, we can take the already cooked yep. batch. And we have and to we put five eggs. All right, so we got five eggs mm -hmm. being cracked. 
Then we have to whisk them up. Okay. Then we'll put a little salt and pepper in this. I will grab that. I think it's on the stove behind us. There we go. A dash. I know you like the mm -hmm. sea salt. <laughs> yep. I love the crunch. And yeah, me too. I just have to mix this wherever All my right. so, spoon is. This is, of um, course, what it, that kind of looks like. So how are these doing back here? They're doing good. You, as you can see, the potato with all their starch is starting to oh, yes. congeal. Yes. Yes. It's kind of pasty. Is that a good thing? Yeah, that's good. Okay. But you just have to watch that the onions don't burn. Like yeah. Right there. Yeah. And now we're cooking the uh, tortilla. Oh, okay. Oh. The so tortilla. You have to Where are the tortillas? This is a. It's got. This is going to be a tortilla. That is going to be the tortilla. <laughs> what? That's that's what it's called. It's oh. a tortilla. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. You know. So uh, we've got our tortilla. Mm -hmm. You have to wait for like maybe five or six minutes for this to, now, to set at the bottom. Why you, I'm sorry, but why you call this a tortilla? Because that's I'm what used, it's called. But I'm used to a tortilla that looks like, well, you know, a flour flat, tortilla. Fl yeah, flour yeah. tortilla. Well, this is just the way it is. It, that's what it, this thing oh, is called. Okay. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> I'm going to go with that. So you just have to wait for this to uh, set at the bottom. Okay. So this takes some finagling. Mm -hmm. Then you just try to get all the the gaps and the, the, uh, the juice on the top yeah, to, to get fill going in. underneath. Yeah. It. Mm -hmm. and just keep going around. Do you do that when you cook omelets too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. I've seen people do that. I have not tried that method, but it seems like it would be the mm -hmm. thing to do. Still too wet. I think I should have put in a bigger pan. Oops. And these are coming along uh -huh. still. As we said before, they take a while to cook, so we'd already done a pre-batch mm -hmm. uh, here. Just a f right. We're ready to give it a flip here. Mm -hmm. Basically, you just put a dish over the top. Yep. Careful not to burn. Oh, sure oh that looks yep. good. Okay. And you just put it back in. Slide it back in on the other side. That's great. And then that, just let it cool. And then you just cut it in slices. Let me see this right yeah. here. Look at that. Just put it in slices. Oh, like a pizza pie? Yep. And people can put that on their plate, so you can just eat like one or two ah. plates. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move up to here. Okay, great. And let you know that this is how this looks. Isn't that mm -hmm. good? Yummy? Um, I guess you could use salsa and other things. Yeah, sure, that'd be great. That'd yeah. be excellent. Or you got some tomatoes with garlic over there. You Very can nice. Them. So that's our first mm -hmm. appetizer. Uh, now let's move on to our number two appetizer, which is? We're going to do uh, shrimp with garlic. So these are pretty quick if you can just go so to the store, get some garlic. We're going to go back here. Raw. Okay. I mean, but, but just put a little bit of olive oil, let it heat up. Yeah, here it's sizzling a little bit. Okay. Put a little bit of garlic. Not by too long. Now, um, do you have a uh, garlic press? Uh, no, I don't. I just like to chop it. You do? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have this garlic press at home. I think it's great. Because, mm -hmm. you, you know, your hands don't get oh, all yeah, garlicky. Yeah, yeah. You just uh -huh. squeeze it through. Mm -hmm. It's a little difficult to clean yeah, out afterwards, but uh, as far as the ease, I think. Mm -hmm. So here you leave the tail on, right? Yep, and it's just easy to when you pick it up, or I just like the tail on. So. Yeah. You can take. I them guess off, it's really. better. You know what I like about tail on, mm -hmm. is then you know to expect the tail. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if they say, "Oh, there's no tails on these," you eat one and the mm -hmm. tail was left on it. Yeah. <laughs> so at least here you're always checking because, mm -hmm. you know, it's supposed to be on. Mm -hmm. So you can put white wine in there if you like, but I just like to put the uh, lemon it. juice. Oh, lemon, lemon juice. Garlic, okay. lemon juice. So you're just going to squeeze some lemons yep. in there? I have uh, 
the juice in the pan. Oh, nice. You know, so many people just serve this raw, mm -hmm. you know, and yep. that's great uh -huh. too. Yep. But uh, I don't know, something about the cooking garlic, it a little bit. Yeah, 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 and the garlicky yeah. mm -hmm. taste. Just of something it. I mean, different, yeah. Yeah, it's it's not, like uh, some people don't like all fishy taste. Yep. Mm -hmm. But this get, that knocks it out a little bit and gives mm -hmm. it a little bit more flavor. Then you could just put it in a dish. Smells good. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to leave that in very long. No, this was already a uh, pre-cooked shrimp. Sure. But you can use the raw. Yep. But I figured you can. And just puts a little bit of parsley over it. Okay. Can I have that plate? Sure. I just mm -hmm. want to show show the camera mm -hmm. here what it looks like. Um, very good. We can go over with our. We're gonna move over here. Tortilla thing. So put that up here. Our mm -hmm. second appetizer. And boy, that was quick. So we talk about preparation time, because you know a lot of times you wanna. I don't know. Maybe just, you wanna cook this stuff at halftime, and you only got 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. So. Or just have it done, and people can. Yep. Get yep. it when they want to. That's right. I mean, All it doesn't. Right. You know, it doesn't have to be served hot after sure. it's. So what's our third dish? So then we're putting uh, sautéed mushrooms, uh, a little bit of garlic too. Back to the garlic. You know what we uh, found as a good spice um, recently, or I have, is celery salt. Oh yeah, I love, well I don't like celery salt, but I like the celery seeds. Oh, Because okay. the celery salt has too much salt. Oh, well, yeah. I like salt. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, celery seed mm -hmm. I guess would be good too. Mm -hmm. And we can do the uh, so chorizo in another is, pan. What is this um, dish called? This is just garlic mushrooms. Oops. So just a simple garlic mushrooms. Yep. Nothing mm -hmm. fancy about nope. that. Put this thing off. We'll get another one going here so we can speed sure. it up here. This will be for the chorizo. It's like a Spanish sausage. For okay. We use it a lot in Mexican cooking too, I think. Would you like to put it in the sure. uh, pan? Here you go. Great. And then we'll put a little um, rosemary in there and thyme and a little bit of balsamic vinegar. What about parsley and sage? <laughs> we'll put the parsley on afterwards. Oh, well, I'm just thinking of the song. I know, it's parsley, sage. Oh, parsley, so sage, sorry. rosemary, and thyme. Uh -huh. yeah. yep. And it's good not to stir them too much because this way they'll, um, if you keep stirring them, they steam too much. Huh. But if you just let them sit, then they get the little browned edges. And that makes sense. Mm -hmm. A little bit of time. Uh, uh. It's amazing how uh, just a little handful of mm -hmm. something can bring out a, a certain... And while the pan's hot, this releases all the oils and the herbs too. Mm. And you can put some fresh on afterwards. So good. So what was the name of the sausage, did you say? Chorizo. Chorizo. Chori it's C H. Oh, chorizo. And this you can put a little, little lemon juice too. Yeah. A little more garlic. Wow, that's nice. Mm. And then you could just pick it with a, um, a toothpick. Oh, yeah. A little toothpicks in each one of these things. Yeah. Do you have a bowl for that, or would you like me uh, to get? Just another bowl here. Let me yeah. cut this off and I'll blast it. Oh, geez. Everybody loves mushrooms. Here we go. A little bit of parsley. Ah, that's great. Here we go. Thank you. See that right there? What do you think of that, Nancy? So in this one you're trying to, you know... It just has to be heated because this is pretty cooked. Oh, also. it is pretty cooked. Yeah, everything's yeah. kind of pretty cooked. I like them a little crunchy. Yeah, okay. And as I told you before, mm -hmm. it is all about... Yeah, not about you. Yes, yes thank yeah. you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. I just want to make sure you remember that yeah. part. Okay. 
Are these so, ready? looks like these are ready. Uh -huh. that, they look delicious, and we're going to put those into another Try to get rid of some of them. Careful of the, the grease. Yeah. Put a little of that on okay. top. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's always about the presentation, right? And clean the edges. Nice. Let me take that from okay. you. And I will show it to our lovely cameraman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we are here now with our uh, appetizer display, I would mm -hmm. kind of call it, because it looks pretty, pretty nice. Mm -hmm. um, we started off with our tortilla. Mm -hmm. um, and that with looks potatoes and onions. with potatoes and onions mm -hmm. and it's sliced in a little pizza slice uh, slices so someone can come up and take a little slice of this mm -hmm. um, this is something that we didn't prepare but this is um, bread bread <laughs> so there you go uh, we do have the, the sausage mm -hmm. we have the shrimp we have the mushrooms um, Carol uh, has put out a little bit of olives for mm -hmm. that we also have a nice little cheese and that's a um yeah Rusciuto? we don't have a spanish ham but we got the italian very it's nice similar. Mm -hmm. and uh of course one of your sous chef minions mm -hmm. put uh has oh, grated, the, grated, grated the, the uh tomato and we put garlic salt and pepper olive oil and we um toasted toasted the bread yeah. and then you can just put this on like bruschetta and then if you want to put the meat on top or a piece of shrimp. Quick and easy, and look at how yep. nice this looks. And yep. your, your guests will be so impressed, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm impressed. Okay. So, <laughs> good job. Um, thank you for mm -hmm. watching. Thanks, Thanks again to uh, Hunter Appliance for letting us use uh, the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And also, thank you, Carol. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Um, I wish you a funny. happy holiday season. Same to you. Okay. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. uh, we we'll hope to see you next time on Cooking with Hoppy.